In this section, I will show you some of LiveWorks features relating to environmental management and monitoring, starting with the US stream gauges, an extensive IoT network currently in the US. Here are a number of map layers in LiveWorks relating to air quality, uh, the weather alerts, as well as, of course, all the USGS stream gauges uh, that monitor the water uh, levels and streams in the US. We are showing a heat map view of the water levels based on the data that is being reported by the USGS stream gauges. Uh, there is, of course, an extensive set of water parameters that are uh, fed through these events into Live Earth. On to weather and climate. Live Earth has built-in support for an extensive set of weather-related layers. Um, ranging from tropical storms to weather alerts to uh, satellite imagery to uh, forest fires to lightning strikes. Um, here I've selected an assortment of some of these weather weather-related weather layers. Uh, we will see a tropical storm Isaiah, which recently uh, hit the US. Uh, one thing of note with all the history, uh, we can replay any of these weather-related events uh, as, uh, for forensic analysis. This is the real-time wind layer in Live Earth. This data comes from Fathom, one of our data partners. Here I'm showing wind farms, part of our electrical power and energy layers, uh, along with the wind uh, data. The combination of this data actually is uh, uh, powers a very interesting use case on wind power generation optimization. Uh, this is a GE use case uh, that uh, correlates the wind pattern speed detection in real time with optimal configuration and operational settings for uh, wind farms or individual windmills. Uh, another time series view of a hurricane. Uh, a powerful feature of LiveEarth is the ability to play with the time dimension uh, and recreate in fast motion events. Moving on to NatCat, LiveEarth has an extensive database of natural catastrophe events uh, globally for all recorded history. This includes all volcanoes, hurricanes, tsunamis, uh, earthquakes, tornadoes. In this heat map view, uh, we're showing all the tornado uh, occurrences in the US as played sequentially through time. You can see how it lights up the US and what are the hot zones. Here we are seeing the earthquakes and of course, you start seeing the tectonic plates and of course, Ring of Fire, uh, the most active volcanic, the active. Finally, uh, this is all recorded hurricane paths through history. And you can see plus or minus five degrees uh, of the equator, there is no hurricane activity. 